Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. In this episode we're going to open this box and I don't actually know what's in it. I think it was an eBay purchase but it arrived, I hid it and then I totally forgot where I put it. Has anybody out there done that? You know, sort of hidden something from your wife and then completely forgotten what's inside it when you've found it underneath the dining room table as you're preparing for Christmas. Anyway, without further ado, because you've gone out, let's open this up. Oh, I think I've got a big hint through the top now, so I think I know. I think I can remember. I can remember, yes. Yeah. And the more astute amongst you will recognise what this is. Through that aperture in what is a Fife banana box. Fife's. This is your Fife. Okay. Put that down there. Let's just get this wrap in there. In fact, why don't we turn the whole thing over? Is that way? I think we'll be able to open it up. Actually, I can see lots of goodies in here. Uh, so I think this is meant to be the bottom because someone's taped some Jurassic World Shreddies uh, promotion materials over the top. There we go. We're smacking into the camera. Right. Now anybody who knows me knows my love of MSX stuff. So um, you will forgive my indulgence by repurchasing something that I already had one of but it is a better example. So, is this taped together? No, lovely. It's out. Move it to one side. And let's see what we've got in here. Okay, we'll start off with the, uh, the obvious stuff. We've got Jet Set Willy here. Everybody loves a bit of Willy for the MSX. And you've probably already noticed that this is an MSX. Inside the box, we've got Finders Keepers, a wonderful game for the MSX. Is that in there? Yep, I'm going to assume that's it. Finders Keepers, lovely. Bit of packing, but the most important thing is this is almost like it's been taken from the desk of an MSX lover in the 1980s because look at all these awesome games, uh, sorcery. I'm going to assume these are in here because I know not everybody likes it when I go through them. Uh, Zoot. Jet Set Willy for the MSX. The software protection card. Look at this. Oh, how wonderful is that? I wonder if it's the same for the Spectrum version. It probably is, yeah. I can't imagine they would have gone through it all again. Um, Leiden Orpheus. Never look back. Instructions in English. Where are the fairies? Where can we see them? They have danced inside their fairy rings. Naughty. Naughty. Um, guess that's an adventure. Don't really know, but we'll pop it to one side. Uh, actually, I'll pop these to the left hand side. An introduction to MSX Basic. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, cassette recorder manual for the KTP 22. Nice. I don't know what that's for, actually. I don't think that's included. That seems to be some kind of... Um, what is that? Yeah, some kind of Walkman. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not in the lot. I don't remember anyway, to be honest. Uh, Speed King for the MSX. Skyhawk for the MSX. French is fun for the MSX. Is it? Is French fun? Is it really? Probably is. Who knows? Who cares? Colony. Chicken chase. Yay, chicken chase. Manic Miner. Yeah, the other uh, Matthew Smith classic. Hunchback. Um, Battleship Clapton 2. Wow, well, you got me on my knees. Um... Bounces. Bounces what? Oh, this is going to be Thing Bounces Back, Gremlin Graphics. I wonder why that's um, out on its own, as it were. Look, we'll put you on the B cam. Thing Bounces Back. I wish my thing had bounced back. That's some Wobble Bat. Oh my goodness, I love this game. Look at this. Jack the Nipper. Yeah, buy this game or else. Free badge. I bet there's no badge in here. 
There's a badge in here, I'll squit. <gasps> Oh my goodness. I'm really pleased. Look at that. That's awesome. Tell me the game's in there. Yeah, the game's in there. So I've got the badge and the game. Wow. This lot is so well looked after. Oh my gosh. Um, yay. Uh, a manual. That's a little bit do more dog-eared than the one I have. Oh, but there's a tape inside. Time track. Time tracks. Uh, sorry for the MSX. Uh, manual, which you know is lovely. I already have these. The, uh, the smaller version of the manual because the other one's the basic reference so this is telling you how to put it together and this is the bit that I find most interesting here okay oh I'm just gonna lift these out because we've got an awesome little lot of um, MSX pamphlets and brochures so that's pretty nice stuff I think sorry about the light it's a bit bright in here for filming but yeah, look at that. That's nice. There's something to actually be treasured along with the machine. Um, I think it's another brochure. Uh, Al Parkinson and Son TV and Audio Services in Blackpool. Check it out. Anyone out there ever go to uh, Al Parkinson and Son? Oh, look. There's all sorts of peripherals and stuff in here. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, the HX22 is listed in the back. Oh. Wonderful. Ah, oh, you know what? This is pretty awesome. Oh, there's the uh, the robot from the uh, the adverts. Do you remember? Hello, Toshiko Toshiba. Hello, Toshiko Toshiba. Which, of course, was um, a, a kind of a parody usage of uh, Alexi Sales. Hello, John. You got a new motor? Unfortunately, something's been cut out the front of that. Look. I wonder what that was. Probably a picture of the computer. Um, another bit of that. But yeah, look, MSX computing close up, the power of programming, all sorts of MSX stuff, which I did not. Oh, look at that. That wouldn't pass muster today, would it? That wouldn't pass muster today. Have an affair with computer games. Mm. Wowie. Yeah, I'll look, get typing, some typings. Did you have any of these magazines back in the day? Let me know if you did. I'll be interested to know. We've got what? MSX? Um, MSX Computing. Another MSX Computing. What MSX again? I mean, these are wonderful, and I'm going to have a good old look through these. If you'd like to see me look through these, maybe on a video, then let me know. Um, I can't say I'm going to sit and do any type-ins, though, to be fair, because I'm a bit lazy for that. But... Uh, you know, I am at your whim. I am your servant, as it were. What we've got here is a uh, boxed, and we're very lucky here, Toshiba HXJ400, which is the official Toshiba joystick. No idea how good or bad these are, but oh, look, all the innards are inside. This is so well looked after. And uh, yeah, look, wowee. Really, really pleased with that. Buttons feel good. Wow, we! I'm super impressed, super duper impressed with that. We'll pop that down there, and the box can go there gently as well because it is a piece of computing history. Um, there's a few more bits of. Um, there's the uh, thing bounces back. A few more bits to look at. A free gift from Konix, apparently. I wonder why. I wonder why. Um, also, let's take these to the B cam. Night time. Polar Star. Don't know what that is. Sea load return. I mean, the lovely thing is because I didn't experience um, these games back in the day, um, they're all kind of new to me. Uh, Toshiba, um, basically the the sampler tape, which is lovely. Feud. Everybody loves a bit of feud. Bit of feud. Uh, oh, Blagger! Look at that. Now, I had Blagger on the Acorn Electron, and let me tell you, it was balls hard. Absolutely rock solid hard. So, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to have a go at that. Is it in there? It is. Yeah, lovely colourful cassette label as well. 
Orange Street and Sheffield, they were in. And, oh. Maxima, arcade action for MSX. That's good. Lovely clamshell. Mate, this was a, a really good bargain. I think this cost around £100. Eddie Kidd's Jump Challenge. I remember as a kid that uh, Eddie Kidd was apparently coming to do a, um, a stunt at the local um, sort of recreation ground. And it wasn't him. It was some person on a... Uh, on a motorbike, he was basically riding off the back of Eddie Kidd's popularity. I think he called himself now Edward the Kid or something. Uh, six computer here: Brian Jack Superstar, Disc Warrior, Hussar, Chucky Egg, Les Fleeks, and Special Operations, which looks good. Beaujolais, everything here is so well looked after. I mean, obviously, it's got the the thin patina of age, as we all have, as we all have YouTube. Um, more in the box. The final two tapes, I think. We've got Crazy Golf for the MSX, which everybody probably recognises. A lot of these are going to be lazy spectrum ports, I'm afraid to say. And we have Ghostbusters by David Crane for the MSX, which is going to be superb, I reckon. We'll have to have a go at that one. And uh, yeah, oh, look. Proper instructions inside. Ghostbusters MSX. Someone's written something on there. It's a code, I think, to get. Oh, I'll try that out. Lovely. And on the back, are those MSX screenshots, I wonder? Do we think they are? Anywho, that's the tapes. We've got two other games here. We've got Ye Ah Kung Fu 2 on a cartridge. Lovely. And let's just pull that out. Instructions. Look at that. And the cart. Lovely. It looks in great condition as well. A lot of these um, have got abused labels, but that is damn good condition. Look at that. So the lights are probably a little bit bright. Back into the tray. Very pleased with that, I have to say. I do love the cartridges. Look, and that's really nicely preserved. A little bit of age, of course. And the other one, the ubiquitous road fighter, which seems to turn up in every MSX lot, but again we've got the uh, we've got the uh, manual and another looks like well preserved label on the car. Although there's a bit of bit of flaking there. There you go, lovely. Anywho, that can go back in as well. So I'm really curious to know everybody watching who had an MSX who who enjoyed MSX's back in the day and you know when you had an MSX did you think this is the system to have or were you secretly thinking oh I wish I had a, a Commodore or I wish I had a Spectrum or anything like that because um, we always know that in the 8-bit world the grass was greener on the other side so do let me know what you think now we're just going to quickly move this stuff out of the way and we're going to open this box Toshiba HX10. I wonder where the manuals are inside the box actually. What's this here? Computer HX10 MSX Toshi 64K. I love these machines. They're not without their flaws if I'm honest. Um, they do have a tendency to run incredibly hot. Um, and they've got this weird issue that happens sometimes with the keyboard scanning. So we'll pull that out there. Okay. So move that box out of the way. The box is in great condition for age. Let's get out of the way. Another bit of cardboard, which is probably where the accessories were held. We've got all these sorts of um width of the tape bits of card maybe I don't know I'm, I'm guessing so we've got some yellowing going on here oh mercy oh and that's handy because that's a tape lead very very handy indeed and an RF lead which we're not going to be using any time this year okay so put that there pop that over there and that over there
Right, what have we got in the back? We've got video, audio, and RF. So these two are actually um, RCA outputs. And we can try that. So let's try that. Of course, I would try that if I had the appropriate cables. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll just make it a two-parter because right now I can't be bothered to go through my box because it's like stupid o'clock in the morning. So what I'm going to do is say, Hooray for me! Look at my MSX! Yay! And um, I'm going to say that and I'm going to love you and leave you really because I'm going to try my MSX and then when I've worked out if it works, I'll show you a video of it. Anyway, subscribe to get your fix. This is Mark from Fix His Stuff signing out. And um, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you have one of these or another MSX. I want to know all your experiences and what games out of the ones that I've shown you are good and what games are rubbish. Let me know and maybe I'll play them and give you a shout out in the video where I test this. Bye.